Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Recently a lot of people are asking me questions about using the Canon EOS 450D and the Canon EOS 2000D for deep sky astrophotography. They ask me questions like which camera is better for astrophotography, which one performs better in deep sky astrophotography, which camera does have less noise or which camera does have better features for deep sky astrophotography. So if you're planning to buy one of these cameras for deep sky astrophotography, but still you're unsure which of these cameras is better for deep sky astrophotography, then this video is definitely helpful for you. Because in this video I would like to compare these different cameras. So as you can see I have listed up different features and I would like to compare these different features when using these two cameras for astrophotography. Something that's very important for me to mention is that this video is not sponsored and I'm not being paid for it. So all products shown in this video were purchased by myself and the opinions about these products are my own. But now let's get started. The very first aspect I would like to talk about is the sensor. The sensor is very important when using your camera for deep sky astrophotography. Both cameras do have an APS-C sensor, but there is a difference when looking at the megapixels these different cameras have. The Canon EOS 450D does have 12.2 megapixels and the Canon EOS 2000D 24.1 megapixels. So as you can see, the Canon EOS 2000D does have more megapixels, which is quite important for deep sky astrophotography because in astrophotography we're using telescopes and the stars are usually not that good or not that sharp in the edges and corners of our image. Therefore, we usually plan to crop our entire image in order to use the area of the image where the stars are the best. And in this case, we would like to crop our images in post-processing. And in this case, having more megapixels is good because then we're losing less details when cropping our entire image. Therefore, um, the Canon EOS 2000D, so the sensor that is integrated in the Canon EOS 2000D is a bit better compared to the Canon EOS 450D. So as you can see, both cameras do have an APS-C sensor, but the Canon EOS 2000D does have more megapixels, which means that the pixels of the Canon EOS 2000D are smaller. Having a bigger pixel size is usually quite good for astrophotography because um, bigger pixels means that it's better for low light. So low light performance is better. But something that's important to mention is that um, sensors are developing. So the newer models are better for astrophotography because they do have less noise. And the Canon EOS 450 is definitely older compared to the Canon EOS 2000D and therefore the Canon EOS 2000D, so the technology is better and therefore it's quite difficult to compare the pixel size of both cameras because the Canon EOS 2000D definitely performs better in low light because the sensor is newer and better, definitely. So I have captured test images with both cameras and definitely the Canon EOS 2000D does have less noise. The next aspect I want to talk about is the ISO range. There is a difference, so the Canon EOS 2000D you can use uh, an ISO value between 100 and 1600 and when you're using the Canon EOS 2000D you can use an ISO value between 100 and 6200. In this case the Canon EOS 2000D is better so the ISO value helps us to increase the brightness of our images and sometimes I'm using a higher ISO value. In this case the maximum uh, ISO value of the Canon EOS 450D is 1600. Therefore, I would rather go for the Canon EOS 2000D when talking about the ISO value. The next aspect is manual mode. A manual mode is very important for astrophotography and it's necessary because in astrophotography we like to set the exposure time, the aperture and the ISO value and therefore the manual mode is very important. Both cameras do have manual mode which is good. The next aspect that is very helpful in astrophotography is in live view mode. Both cameras do have a live view mode and live view mode is a very important aspect for astrophotography. In astrophotography we would like to capture good images of the night sky, but we can only capture sharp images of deep sky objects when the lens or the telescope is in focus. Therefore the live view mode is very important because it helps us to achieve perfect sharpness or perfect focus. So as I have mentioned, both cameras do have live view mode which is perfect. The next aspect is RAW. It's very important that your camera can capture images in RAW because in astrophotography we like to stack our images. I'm personally using Deep Sky Stacker for stacking these images and you could only stack these images when they were captured in RAW. And this is one aspect and the other aspect is that RAW is very important in post-processing because, uh, because when the images were captured in RAW it's easier for you to process these images and it's easier for you to bring out even more structures and details in your final results. So both cameras can capture images in RAW. The next aspect is a connection for remote charge release cable. It's a very important aspect because 
When not having connection for remote shutter release cable, you need to click manually on your camera in order to take images of the night sky. When clicking on your camera, your entire setup will move and therefore the images will not be that sharp. The next aspect is a flip screen. A flip screen is a very important aspect. In this case, both cameras do not have a flip screen. If you are looking for the Canon EOS 600D, I have already compared this camera to other DSLR cameras. You can click on the video right there. The next aspect is a bulb mode. A bulb mode means that you can capture exposure times longer than 30 seconds. 30 seconds is not that long in deep sky astrophotography, so sometimes we capture images that are even longer, so um, up to five minutes, for example. Therefore, for me personally, a bulb mode is very important for astrophotography because it helps me to use longer exposure times. If you're not sure which aspects are important for a DSLR camera, I have already made a video about important and necessary camera features for DSLR cameras when planning to use them for deep sky astrophotography. I will link the video right there. The next aspect I would like to talk about is the uh, maximum exposure time. In this case, it's exactly the same, but there is definitely a big difference when comparing the release date of both cameras. So actually there is 10 years of difference. So the Canon EOS 450D was released in 2008 and the Canon EOS 2000D in 2018. But I would like to talk about the release date in the end when giving you my final opinion about these two different cameras. The next aspect I would like to talk about is how heavy these cameras are. And as I've talked, it's very important that your cameras are not that heavy because it's very important that our entire setup is portable. At least this is what a lot of people want when planning to do deep sky astrophotography. In this case, the difference is not that big. The Canon EOS 450D is a bit heavier, but the difference in this case is not that big. The next aspect and a very important aspect is the price. And there is a big, big difference. So a few years ago, I bought the Canon EOS 2000D for around 350 euros. So with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens and the Canon EOS 450D, I bought this camera for around 50 euros used. So um, there is definitely a difference when looking at the price. Uh, for sure, the Canon EOS 450D is very, very old, therefore the price is not that high. And furthermore, the sensor technology of the Canon EOS 450D is um, definitely older, definitely. So now to my final opinion. When comparing the informations right there, you can already see that the Canon EOS 2000D is newer. It is better when comparing the sensor of both cameras. It does have more megapixels and um, it performs better in low light, for sure. So... I've used both cameras and I've captured test images with both cameras and I can definitely say that the Canon EOS 2000D performs better in low light. It will have less noise, therefore when using it for deep sky astrophotography, the Canon EOS 2000D performs better. Furthermore, the Canon EOS 2000D does have more megapixels, which is helpful for post-processing when talking about the features and the technology and about how good this camera is in astrophotography. The Canon EOS 2000D is way better in low light. I would definitely go for the Canon EOS 2000D. If you have any further questions on using both cameras for astrophotography, if you have questions about using DSLR cameras in general for deep sky astrophotography, feel free to ask me down below in the comments. And if this guide and this video was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, clear skies, Felix.